Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and you're probably wondering what's going on in this video. Well, just to let you know, I'm wearing my hoodie, just like this ECM machine is wearing her hoodie. Uh, underneath here, we have the ECM Technica with the PID, and we have a nice quick short video on uh, a few things we're going to go over on this machine. Uh, basically, a quick overview. Uh, the machine does come in a box uh, of this size, which we actually double box here at First Line. Inside is the packaging materials, uh, foams, kind of like a heavy uh, styrofoam, styrene foam. Uh, and it usually inside the box, it'll be something like this to protect the machine. So um, we do like the packaging a lot uh, by ECM. And uh, there is an accessory box on the top of that foam. And uh, without further ado, I am going to show you the PID machine here uh, and take off her hoodie. And she is a gorgeous machine. Now this uh, Technica does have the joystick uh, steam and hot water valves. Uh, you could see that the valves are angled here, multi-directional, no burn uh, wands on both sides. Okay, and then we have here, and sometimes you can remove this tip by hand, which I can, but sometimes you can't. Uh, you basically have a two hole tip. Now some, we do sell four hole and three hole tips and I believe a five hole tip. However, keep a note that when you get to the bigger holes or more holes, uh, the steam can leave quicker than it can generate. So the two hole tip is usually pretty good uh, on this espresso machine. So, but if you need more steam power for the larger uh, steamy pitchers of milk, uh, you can get the optional tips. This machine is switchable and plumbable. Uh, water reservoir is right back here. Uh, water feeds from the bottom. Uh, if you do need to soften the water, uh, we sell an osmotic pack called the Oscar 90 or the Oscar 150. Check for that on our website. Uh, there is a direct plumb capability underneath. And let's see if we can show that here. And the connection is right there. And if you want to plumb it in, it's hard to see, but there's a switch here for tank and plumbing mode. Now, really important, if you're in tank mode, please, please make sure that here you don't select direct plumb mode. All the direct plumb mode does is inactivate that magnetic float that's found in here in the reservoir. So this floats up. When it comes down, that switch deactivates. When it comes down, it tells you it's low on water. So just make sure when you receive the machine in, uh, in tank mode, uh, the switch is in tank mode. Now, uh, another thing that I uh, advise customers, use the machine in tank mode for two to three weeks before plumbing it in. The reason is you wanna make sure the machine's work, working perfectly, and it should. You don't wanna plumb it in right away, because if you do, what ends up happening is sometimes the water pressure is too strong or too light, too weak, and that will cause machine issues. And the first thing to blame is the machine. I've seen this before. So please use the machine in tank mode for two, three weeks, get accustomed to it, and then decide to plumb it in. Plus, you don't want the machine and learn how to use it and then go through all the frustration of plumbing because plumbing is not always easy, okay? And you check our website, uh, firstline.com. Uh, if you type in uh, commercial install instructions or uh, procedures, uh, an article will come up on the bottom uh, below some products and we'll give you the uh, advice on what needs to get done. But also you need to check with your local uh, um, inspection uh, offices in your locale because they might have something different than what we have. Uh, also, when you get the box, you're going to get a uh, the accessory box, which has the um, water line connection. There is also uh, a dual spout uh, portafilter, single spout portafilter, nice and heavy weight. And in here, we have the brand new nice ECM tampers, absolutely stunning and gorgeous. We have the blind filter basket here, and we also have a cleaning brush here. And then in here we have the drip tray and instructions. And right there's the instruction manual. And we'll take this out of the bag here. And don't be alarmed, sometimes the bag does rip this. We just opened this up. We didn't even take it out of the box. 
and we already found the bag ripped. So don't be alarmed that it's used. We do inspect every unit. Uh, we normally don't inspect the uh, drip trays, but just to show you that sometimes uh, the bag may not be in perfect shape. There's a white film here, and this white film uh, can come off because we get some customers calling saying, hey, the drip tray cover is not, it's not stainless, it's white. No, this stuff peels right off. Now, one of the signature things about the ECM uh, line is they have on the black enamel painted steel, they have these stainless steel uh, guide rails here. And what happens is before these guide rails, that paint there would basically chip, come off, corrode, and so forth. So this fits nice and easily through there. The drip tray has some nice curvature right here, and it just basically seats right in there. Okay, so uh, E61 group head, stainless steel mushroom, which is another signature uh, item uh, feature that uh, ECM in Germany started, ECM manufacturer. And then we have our PID display here. Uh, and then we have our uh, light signals here and the power switch. Uh, so that's pretty much an overview of the Technica PID by ECM manufacturer in Germany. Uh, designed in Germany. It is produced uh, in, in the outskirts of Milan, Italy, last we checked. And uh, I appreciate you watching. If you can, please give us a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Any comments or questions, you can also ask down below, as well as visit our website. There's a Q&A section. Ask any questions that you may have. And once again, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and thank you for watching.